Well, hello guys. I wanted to come to you with this video to show you my update on my lighting for my um, channel. And what I have here is a six light lighting going on here. And I'm just going back up and let y'all see everything that I have here. You see the tripod with the, the light. That's the light I have facing me and it's on a tripod to almost a little bit a little bit to like head length of my face when i'm sitting down and i have two of these right here facing at me like if i want to do um a makeup tutorial i haven't done one yet and i got one on both sides that y'all see uh, right there and right here so that's three and i have the two little ones which is like it backs um light up my wall in the back of me which is the backdrop i just added those stickers there because i was thinking about um uh, you know how cute could that be all right and i have these right here which are a little smaller and i got one on both sides which is facing the wall which it lights up my wall excuse that stain right there i weigh something there and I just could not get it off. I would have to paint that, but I'm not worried about that. And um, the, the last light is on the ceiling, which is right there. I actually just put a um, shelf rail there with a stick that long, which I can drag it from if I'm filming like a nail tutorial here. I can push it further up right here so I can see me here, or I can just push it back forward like it'll be on top of my head for like a um, halo effect and um these are 100 watts lighting i'm gonna come to the front so i can see how it looks in the front it's a lot of lighting and i just want you to see how bright that light is and what i did was put some wax paper with a 100 watt daylight bulb and I didn't hold it with a rubber band because I wasn't getting good luck with a big rubber band so I actually did the hair ties which actually worked a little better the little hair black hair um which keeps your bangs out of your face it's like a headband but it actually goes all the way around your head and which I have one two three mm, sorry about that one two three and that number four on the ceiling is 100 watts daylight with, I think, 1,800, 1,800 lumens, lumens, which they are very bright. That's the, that's really the max that you can hold with these, I think, 150 watts, but I only had 100 watts. Now, these little bitty ones on the side actually have the max of 75 watts which um a little bit more watts because how small it is so that was okay because i just wanted to brighten up the backdrop which i think is doing pretty good because if i was to turn this this light off right here and it's nighttime right now guys so i'm not even filming in the daytime which um i have a problem anyway because i only have like one window that actually has sunlight coming in but it's actually not sunlight it's actually because the window where I'm filming at is it's between another house, so I really don't get no sunlight at all. It's just shadow and dark clouds most of the time, and I got a, like a a canopy over my window, so that's not no justice either. But you see how dark that back that that wall became after I turned those two lights off. So that was the purpose of that. It actually bounces off the wall back into my other lights which will give it a more more light now if i was to turn um another one of these light it, it just get darker and darker and darker and with just the ceiling light that i have in this room it's just the ceiling light and you just see how dark that is you know i've seen videos that actually is this dark and i just i just not good quality at all so, just one light. And I got all these lights connected to a extension cord down here. 
right here and every last light goes to that and then it goes into my wall socket right there which I think is not a bad setup you know yeah I can afford to go get box lights don't get me wrong but you know what I don't like the bulkiness of those box lights I don't have a lot of area so you know two of those box lights in this room that I'm actually actually sold for my children I got a little space to the corner this is actually my kids room and this is just my little corner right here this is all I have and and you know backing up let me turn this last light back on you know backing up this is my little triangle you know this is all I have this is my little space here and this is where I record my videos you know I really can't take much more of their room they'll be saying like what you climbing in the bed with me but um yeah because you can see this is the bunk beds right here so you know but I think, you know, my little space is efficient enough for what I do, you know. And, you know, this is their room and I took up a little square. But my daughter loves that, that she can actually do her hair, do her makeup in my little spot. Even though I just please ask her to just clean up the desk when she finished, but she never does. But, you know, that's another video. And those three little cabinets is actually where all I keep all my supplies at, guys. Um, so I'm really very neat with her, their room. I don't try to take over, even though I, I do have a lot of stuff up there, but, um, that's actually this, the little brush cleaner that I made, cotton, and that box right there is just my video that I need to do a video on. Um, and right there, the little boxes here, that's just my... My stamping plates right there and that's it and um, that great this great thing here is my makeup kit and that's just like a, a court a roll court that I keep some like pedicure slippers and stuff and when I do pedicures and stuff like that at my home and that's it guys I just want to show you my little lighting system and I'm going to put this, I'm actually I'm recording this on my iPhone and I know it's getting dark once I go to those lights. But what I'm going to do is just put, I'm going to mount my iPhone so it can show you how bright my face is. I'll be right back. 